Fabulous executive living bordering Oak Mountain State Park. Colleen and David Black, Keller Williams Realty, 356-5412. Call on Colleen. I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 22nd day of May, getting set for a good long holiday weekend. And, of course, the big question, how much rain? When will the rain come? And let's see if we can answer some of those. Let's go right to some of the Skycam shots around the network this morning. Doing the video a little later this morning, so we got some daylight out there. That's the view coming from the University of Montevallo down in Shelby County. The sky cloudy there, and I'll guarantee it's going to look like that everywhere across the state. There's the trustful camera. In fact, it looks like a few raindrops on the lens there. And the Inverness Sky Cam on, uh, up at the Wingate Inn overlooking Highway 280. Not too many folks out there early this morning, but they will be later today. Many folks trying to get out of town. Here's our water vapor satellite shot, and you can see that deep plume of moisture over the southeast United States. The upper level low is uh, due south to Panama City in the Gulf. Uh, convective clusters there. Around here this morning, just light rain showers. It's the uh, radar at 545, and I think the radar will look a lot like that today. The coverage will probably increase as the uh, day progresses, and you can see nothing heavy, no severe weather, just showers, and that pretty much it's going to be the story for the weekend. And uh, the rain numbers coming off the QPF chart, Keep on going up. This is suggesting rainfall amounts of over two inches for much of the state. And once you get down to uh, the Gulf Coast, five inches there for Gulf Shores and Dauphin Island. The bullseye is actually close to Meridian, Mississippi with 5.7 inches uh, as the uh, Gulf low glo uh, gradually moves inland. This is the 06 ZGFS, valid at 1 o'clock today. Uh, this is at 500 millibars, about 18 to 20,000 feet off the ground. The upper level low is in the Gulf Coast. Down below that, the surface low is underneath that. And again, it will be a day of occasional showers. Uh, don't think it's going to wash out anything. You know, the SEC baseball tournament goes on this weekend. They'll get the games in. There could be just a few minor delays, but they'll play in light rain out there. And the heavy rain is just offshore. Tomorrow, the surface low is uh, very close to New Orleans. And uh, this is kind of suggesting the heavier rain could be over Mississippi. And again, on the coast around here, cloudy with occasional showers, very much like today. And Sunday, the surface low is inland. And again, we stay on that moist east side. So cloudy with occasional showers, maybe some thunder. If the sun peaks out, we get up there close to 80, but severe weather not expected. Monday of next week, the broad surface low is near Little Rock. And again, that puts us in that very moist air mass. So for Memorial Day, cloudy with occasional showers. And just get used to that because look at Tuesday. There's nothing to sweep this moist air out of here. Uh, deep layer moisture, showers likely, same thing on Wednesday of next week. And by golly, the same thing on Thursday of next week. We note a boundary up north and we have seen some runs of the GFS suggesting drier air works into North Alabama Thursday, but not on this run. And a, a week from today, the uh, westerlies are, of course, pretty far north, which is what you expect in late May. A trough over the northeast, but if the, the thing is so far north, it's not going to give the surface front enough push to get down here. And if that's the case, we stay moist a week from today. So for the next seven days, only very limited sun with occasional showers and maybe a storm on the way. Look at the end of the cycle on uh, June the 6th. Again, the uh, westerlies are way up north, 588 heat bubble around El Paso, and uh, looks like at that point the weather would be relatively quiet, not even a bogus tropical system out there. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. Uh, we will get down to the holiday schedule here, so one video per day through uh, Monday. We'll get back to the two-a-day schedule on uh, Tuesday of next week. So thanks a lot for watching. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend, and God bless.